So I have to start making all my videos on my iPod because my computer is dying. But I want to make this uh, video, because I just got out of the shower, about Broomsticks, which is a local handmade company here in San Diego. Um, the woman who owns it is named Tamanova, but she goes by Tammy here. And uh, she's really cool, but um, she makes, now she makes, she started off I think just with soaps, now she makes like oil diffusers and beeswax candles, masks, tons of different things. And she's also teaching classes for a local coven here, and I know she's part of tons of different groups here in San Diego. Like I'm really impressed she has energy to do all that she does. But um, Broomsticks is a company that I've wanted to buy from for a long time, but it, like I never saw her around, so I didn't, I can't drive. So it's like kind of was a pain to be like, I want to buy a soap, and then can you drop it off, <laughs> you know? So, um, but now I see her at um, different classes and whatnot, and also around uh, people will circle the Silver Veil, which is a, that looks better, <laughs> a group here in San Diego. Um, and so I was like, when, after one of my classes that she attended, I was like, oh my gosh, I have money, I have a job now, I want to buy a leather bar. So today at San Diego, pa or at San Diego Pagan Pride, so at Earth Fair at the San Diego Pagan Pride booth, she was there, I think, I forgot where her role is, and she's on the committee. Um, anyway, she gave me my leather, leather bar, it's called, it's like the gentleman's bar, better in leather, and I was like, yes, finally. <laughs> So tonight I finally got to use it, and I got to get all that nastiness from today's off, all that dirt and grime and grossness from walking around in flippy floppies around like thousands of people, or however many people it were. And um, so I'm a soap snob, or I consider myself a soap snob, or a connoisseur of soaps. So um, since 2008, because it's not like I had any soap before then, I just didn't really think about like how it was really affecting my skin or anything until I discovered Etsy. And um, that's the first time that I bought, oh my goodness, the first time that I bought cold process soap, oh my god, and I changed my life. I became completely addicted to it and uh, started buying it all the time. Like every paycheck I would buy a couple of them. And they're expensive, especially with shipping and stuff. So um, since I left my job, I haven't really got to experience awesome handmade soap. And uh, Tamanova's soap, her broomstick soaps. Um, are not cold processed from what I can tell because with cold processed usually when you get them they're like they feel like this dry nasty brick and when the first time I ever got one I was like ew I don't want this on my skin but then they they like it better once they get wet you know <laughs> but um her soaps are it looks like they're heat processed soaps and usually I have a really bad time with them because they drop my skin they're nasty and gross they don't hold fragrance like I want them to or anything you know but uh, I was pleasantly surprised by hers um, it, and uh, it's cute because like she puts them in these nice little bags so they look all like chic and spiffy <laughs> and uh, she has like a little morning in there like hey they can change with time the color and everything and the I use essential oils and, and bath grade fragrance when I was bald you know I was gonna say blah 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 but that sounds mean but, um, so this cute little list like disclaimer I was like this is really professional I thought like she would just hand it over to me because I see her you know that's not like I'm like I don't feel like a real customer or anything I don't know but anyway <laughs> And so she, I finally got to use it today, and uh, the second I unwrap it, I could smell it. And it's leather scented, and I love that smell. Like, if you've ever been in like a country western store, we don't really have a lot of them here in San Diego. But like the second you walk in, you're like, I'm like, ew, country, oh god, cowboy hats, why? Just not my thing. But then the second I smell the leather, I'm like, oh my god, leather. And I know, I'm sorry if you are like for animal rights or anything on here, but I'm a meat eater and I love leather. So, um... Um, so I picked it up in the shower, and like the heat and steam from the shower immediately started releasing the smell before I even picked it up really. And then the second part of my skin, it like hit me in the face. I was like, oh my god, how much how much fragrance did she put in here? Because obviously it's not essential oil. Essential oil of, of leather, no, that doesn't exist. So, but I'm fine with fragrance oils because I want to smell good. Um, and I just kept rubbing it on my skin. And I was like, it went on really smoothly. It felt like it was made out of lotion, like. Well, like sometimes you know when you get like the glycerin bars and they crack like immediately and they're gross and nasty and kind of just make you like feel dry automatically I felt like I was using a lotion bar like it was thick and creamy and not creamy to the point where like it was wearing off do you know what I mean like like it was coming off the bar or anything it just felt like it was like a beeswax salve that I was rubbing on my skin that was melting into my skin as I used it and I got out of the shower and usually when I use like a scented soap my favorite to use is lavender and usually when I use like cold process uh, scented soaps, I don't can't smell it until I like put it up like this. So like usually like I get compliments on different things like when people hug me because I can't smell it. 
but I'm like drying myself off and I can still smell it like really strongly and I was like oh my god I smell divine I smell fantastic but um yeah I'm still smelling it right now like you know how you usually get used to a scent because they're more subtle or whatnot I'm not getting used to the scent because it's really strong and it's really great so um I, I wanted I wish I could have made like a better video for her to support her stuff because she's really cool but um this is your video for now, tomorrow uh, <laughs> I will buy more soaps and I will do more awesome reviews and not be shaking the camera the whole time. I should totally get a stand. But, um, so thank you so much. I'm so happy with my leather bar. I'm going to tell everybody about it. I even posted on my fun fan page for the little spindle and everything. I'm like, you have, I'm like, I'm so excited to get it. Now I can go right. You have to buy it if my computer lets me online. So, um, yeah, really happy right now. I like smelling good. <laughs> but, um, and I also like good soaps. Like, I'm watching my skin. I'm not putting on lotion on immediately because I want to see how it affects it because I want to give her an honest review and everything. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I see you're around. I'm going to make his ass or something. I want to tell her, like, how I really feel about it. So, so far I feel really good about it. And, uh, my dog's coming in here. But, um, we'll see. I'm happy so far. <laughs> Ten minutes after shower, I still feel good. So, that's a good sign. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy more as soon as I get a good paycheck. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting like, I know she's doing gemstones, but I don't know if she does uh, for the months that you're born in. I don't know if she, I think she said she's only doing them for each month that she does it. Each month that comes up like March, you're gonna get that gemstone for that month and whatnot. Um, we'll see. She has a ton of soaps and whatnot, because I've heard somebody ask her like, well, well what's your soap? What scents do you have? And I basically, I don't remember her exact response, but it was kind of just like, well, if you want it, I've got it. <laughs> And I know she does like special bars and everything where she mixes different scents and suits. So from what I've seen on her um, Facebook fan page, I can't put the link up right now because I'm on my iPod and my computer's not working. But if you go on Facebook and look up broomsticks, in one word, and uh, you should see it. It should say it have like a picture of a yellow broomstick. I think it's yellow, and uh, at least the end is, and have like I think it's red lettering. It says broomsticks across it. When you go on, she has like a little garden kit with soap in there, for, and uh, little gloves and seeds, she has, uh, masks, and, um, I'm having a brain fart, and some soaps, she doesn't have a lot of pictures of her product, though, you kind of just have to ask her or contact her, and that's when you start the connection, she can find what's right for you, but I hope she gets, like, an Etsy shop or something soon, so I can really pimp her out, and also I can just, like, buy directly from there and look at all their goods, so, um, yeah. It's really, really late, and I'm really, really tired, so tomorrow I will do a much better video later. And then, um, for now, thank you. I smell better in leather. <laughs>